for us, I think that's what's incredibly helpful in getting agencies to work with us is that they realize that we're going to be able to help them answer the why. And when we answer the why, what they get is, well, do we need to do a training refresher? Yes. Right? Do we need to, you know, start having conversations with our you know, officers about you know, incivility? Like, we don't swear at people ever, right? And it might be that we don't use profanity. And I, I've heard pushback, right? We're like, we just swear. You know, we were trying to develop a project with the NYPD and, you know, we're kind of walking through this and we said, you know, we just swear. It's just what we do. It's who we are. I said, there's a difference, you know, there, and that's, we don't code for profanity unless you want, we code for directed profanity, right? Because there's a real difference in that, you know, like, you know, oh shit, right? Like, is what it is, right? The difference is why you got to be an asshole. See what I mean? Like, there's a difference there. And we've had agencies, you know, that they did a little pushback to, we explain it, said, see the difference there? We code for the directed because that's untenable. Right? Like when you are, you know, an officer, you know, you're a public servant, you don't do that. It's just, you don't that, right? There, there's no justification, rationalization for doing that. Right? Now I get that you might, you know, it's just how we communicate. So we might swear a little bit just to get our feelings out there. Uh, but that's unacceptable. We wouldn't tolerate it if a school teacher, right? It's like, why are you an asshole? Right? Like, we would all go, nope, that's a non-starter. But yeah, that's hilarious. Like, you, as soon as they know it's the cops, everyone does the same thing. They're like, <laughs> they just like blend into the darkness. <laughs> Day. It's been a lot of time doing this since students are here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have to grow after the door and a mark and I'm looking. I saw that. Yep. <laughs> We're only here for a noise complaint. Come to the damn door. So. <clears throat> Apparently, he thought that was funny, you know, come to the damn door, and the other cop laughs. But if when you're listening to this, before that was said, there's another guy there who is not a cop, who apparently was a ride-along driver that night, like, just a ride-along, can go hop in the car and do a ride-about with the cops. And the things that bother me so much about this part is that you've got this guy... They don't know who he is. They don't know him from Adam. <laughs> yes, that was a intended. Um, and they're talking about these things. Like, they talk about, well, this guy talks about boobies, right? The guy, the ride-along, said something about the girl who answered, which was Bethany, something about on her shirt and something about being on her boobies. And the cop agreed and said he saw that and then laughed, a creepy laugh, and then, and then they're cussing at them, come to the damn door. Well, it's almost like they're showing off for this guy. Like being, like, uh, it's weird how they're doing this. Um, let me take one of my earbuds out. I can hear you better that way. Or I can hear me better that way. So, so they're acting like, well, yeah, like they're showing off. Like when he did the running thing, and then, then he comes up. But prior to... Like you're gonna, we're gonna hear this on a different body cam. I don't know if it's on, if I'm gonna do it on this one or not. But these, the, that ride along guy, and the cop are talking amongst themselves, and they're talking about like things that nobody, like that some somebody that they don't even know shouldn't know. They shouldn't be telling this guy this. So why were they telling this guy this? And and who who all do they tell us? How many times? Who how often do they have ride alongs that they don't know who they are? They just ride along on nights like this knock on doors and then give them and then give them hints as to you know where they run to or who who they are sorority girls right sorority girls i'll tell you they live in this house this is the stuff that should be talked about by someone they don't know this is not a way to protect people your community 
and you shouldn't be cussing at them, just like the professor prior to this that I that was playing. That's, you know, just like you said, you don't be cussing at these people. It's not. It's not. You're. You're. A, you shouldn't be up. <sighs> you have a job to do, and it's not honorable to be cussing at the kids like this, the college students. I call them kids because they're much younger than I am, but they're still young adults. You know, be considerate. Be fuck. Honor that badge. Let's play some more. <laughs> We're only here for a noise complaint. Come to the damn door. Those ones that can frustrate me, like. We'll figure out who lives here eventually. Yeah. I'm gonna go around back. I'll be on the cover. Yeah. I want her. Oh, hey. <laughs> Search. You see the door So if they just don't come to the door. What's that? Well, if they don't come to the door. It's not really much issue. Yeah. I'm fine for you, but. <clears throat> These are all, they're all mostly students, so. Yeah. The campus officers can figure out who lives here. And then. Honestly, it's a lot worse for them if they don't come to the door. Pretty frequently. Like, if they, yeah, campus will, if, yeah, if students get in trouble, they will, um, if they get in trouble, the campus, it's actually honestly for, like, minor stuff, campus will hang them, like, suspend them or kick them out altogether or lose all your financial aid. Like, it's pretty serious, so. They've had several. For minor stuff that happens? That they will kick them out or lose their financial aid for minor stuff? Isn't that a little above and beyond punishment? And why is he telling this guy these things? What do you do if they don't open the door, answer the door? Well, then he goes, you know, do this. Well, how often are the campus officers around here? The guy's asking some questions that make would, would have concerned me if I was an officer. And I was at, you know, doing an showing up to a noise complaint at a sorority girl's house, sorority girl's house, with a guy that they don't know. I find this very disturbing. Pretty frequently. Like, if they, yeah, campus will, if, yeah, students get in trouble, they will, um... If they get in trouble, the campus, it's actually honestly for, like, minor stuff, campus will hang them, like, suspend them or kick them out altogether or lose all your financial aid. Like, it's pretty serious, so. They've had several kids, like, get super hammered and fall off balconies over the years and stuff and die, so they take it pretty serious. Come to the door, guys. Send whoever work, whoever lives here down to the door. Send whoever works uh, lives here down to the door. Send whoever works lives here down to the door. What kind of work is going on in that house? cops does it take to show up to a noise complaint? Whatever happened to Ethan's Jeep? Well, a very nice subscriber to my channel sent me some pictures of where Ethan's Jeep it looks to be Ethan's Jeep. Now I'm going to go into that after this video. But what's interesting is that when they were hauling the cars off, driving them off that one time to put him in, you know, the locked whatever place where they put him in, like a, like it was crazy where they put him out in the open in like a fence that anybody could crawl over in the middle of an area that had, you know, lots of nefarious stuff going on in that area. I've done lots of my police reports. I know which areas are not so healthy to put stuff in, in the open like that, especially brand new cars like Kaylee's and the Jeep, like any of it, any of it doesn't matter. They're going to break into them. I don't know if that happened, but 
uh, it's just kind of weird what they did. They're just so reckless with their... They just... They're careless. It's like they don't care. Okay, we're going to listen to some more of this. I'm going to hear some more stuff here. Come to the door, guys. Send whoever work, whoever lives here down to the door. We're not leaving. And we can also see you. Okay, guys, I'm going to back this up just a little bit because I want you to see something. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually pop it in slow motion real quick so you can see it better. So I'm going to turn the sound down. You're not going to hear the sound. You're just going to see what I want you to see. <laughs> I'm going to make you see it. So what I'm pointing, what I'm um, get, trying to get you to see is how they communicate, how the students communicate and how the police communicate, communicated also that night on Banfield with purple lights. So this, right where we're looking at right now, straight out, over to where like Jack's house would be, which is a little bit, it's kind of like a little bit over to the left of where the middle of the screen would be. And you're going to see a purple light. They com they communicate with purple lights. So you could kind of see one here if you look in like in the middle of the screen and then look a little to the right. There's a quite a dim kind of a purplish looking light. Now that's probably as they're dimming it because they have different like strengths of the light they put out there meaning obviously different things is my opinion so i'm going to back this up i'm going to make it a little bit slow motion turn the sound down and then so you can see what i'm talking about and it would be like literally it's got to be right adam's house or the house in front of it because that's the direction that it's in so hold on Okay, so did you guys see that? Now, as they're, as they're going back, um, as they're just, like, right now, as they're moving back towards that, that light's gone. Like, they just flashed the light, and I believe that's a warning sign. You know, they're warning other students that cops are in the area, they're doing noise complaint calls, hide, go to another house, or whatever you're going to do. But just let you know, warning, cops are here. That's what I think that is from. So, just a little inside information in my own head, from my own head. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> Bane of property. Moscow one five seven. Do we have any recent involvements at uh eleven twenty two Queen? No one's here that's trespassing? Well, no one's here that's trespassing, but no one no one here So where'd they go? They're just not here. I have no clue where they go. No clue. Okay, so straight ahead, like if you're looking straight ahead and you look off to the to the right, middle of the screen, that's a purple light over there. So these cops first of all, these guys come down the steps, right? And he says, No one is here that lives here 
but he said he just looked through every room and no one was there that lived there. He just went through every room. How does he have access to every room when they said that they have locks on all the doors and that they lock them? How is he getting in every room? And what gives him permission to go in every room? That has always bothered me. So everyone here is trespassing? Well, no one's here is trespassing, but no one, no one else is here. So where'd they go? They're just not here. I have no clue where they went. No clue. So you guys just started partying in, in, in their house at they this were time? Here. They're not here right now. I just, I they, just searched all the way. They left and went over to some other party, and everyone is about to I just searched all the way to another party. Okay. Does where are they? I am actually not sure. I live across the street. I just came over. I've been drinking dry ale, you know. Uh, I just think it's like a little bit more. See, there's another triple light, right? I, 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 don't, I don't know if they're. I don't know if they're. I don't. So, I guarantee you they're associated with this. Any of them are living here as a campus or no. I've been a cop for 22 years here. I'm not sure. I'm games with me. So. See the guy standing all the way to the right of your screen that you're looking at? That's the ride-along guy. And do you hear what they're saying here? These cops are saying, I guarantee this is an off-campus sorority housing. I've been a cop for 22 years. Blah, 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 blah. He is just letting this guy, who they don't know who this guy is, they're telling him this is a house full of girls sorority girls living here off campus look at where this guy's looking he's looking up into that window this is creepy you guys another thing is back here let me see if i can find it hold on see the purple lights straight ahead over here kind of down by that guy and the guy's creepy anyway he's kind of creepy at all and no i mean i really want to know about this guy so hold on let me get back to this one part hold on okay see right he has panned back so you, now you've got the rideshare guy he's going on the left of the screen and what you're looking at straight across the way down at the very bottom of your screen on the right side that looks to be like Sigma Chi back there so you can see that purple light right there right so this is how they communicate back and forth and how they without making any noise without calling on a phone or doing a text this is a quick in fact there's two purple lights over there that I can see right now now, I don't know if it's going to, if I were going to see more as I turn this on, but I'm going to turn the video back on here. Um, actually, I'm going to back it up a little bit. I'm actually not sure. I live across the street. I just came over. I've been drinking dry ale, you know. Uh, I think it's maybe like it's like the worst word in the last one. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're, I don't. Know if they're I don't. I so, guarantee you they're associated with this any of them are living here as a campus sorority house. I've been a cop for 22 years here. I'm not stupid. I'm games with me. I'd rather deal with this as a noise complaint. I'm going to go to all of that. All the windows are really high this week. Hmm? Is that your spot for trousers? Yeah. yeah. Almost all. People up on the hill probably didn't know the most of the yeah. And this is kind of like it's kind of a fishbowl in here, so if they get part of the echoes like crazy. You guys are unlawfully interdicted. No one who lives here is here. Okay, right? We'll we'll go. We'll so go get the phone number that there was a party here. We'll go, the we'll go get a phone number. We'll be right back. Sorry, we're not trying to make your life. I understand. Yeah, I just letting you know this is how it's going to play out. I'm not going anywhere until I talk to someone. We're not trying to make your life. Just know you guys can see the door open for us. That way we can get some sort of communication. Between us no, and them, no one that lives here is here right now. So no, yeah, call. okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I do. And, thank and, you. and hey, guys, really, we're just coming here for this. Okay, no, I get it. Come on, from this house that's down here all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm sure they're fucking, I think the bunch of bolted. Oh, guaranteed, yeah. And then here we were in the front, they were, there were some coming up behind us, and they, I don't know where they went, but they looked like they were probably headed this direction, yeah. Yes, please just go call someone, thank you. We'll be right Well, they told me they just came across the street, so that means they're Sigma Chi. Yep, they're Sigma Chi. He pointed right at it. Yes, he did. That was not, <laughs> not intelligent, tell young man. A fucking off-campus story. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. You're fucking idiot. If I have to, I'll just start running plates. And that's yeah. all of I was seriously doing the same thing. Yeah. Take it all to campus back. Have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> Figure out who these people they were. They a big-ass party mm -hmm. with underage drinkers, and they all left and wouldn't come to the door, so they're uncooperative. Yep. 
Here are the names of the people who are there. The vehicles are there, at least. You can play stupid games if you want to. So, this is weird to me. So, as he's talking, right? First of all, that the guy, the ride-along guy, he's got a southern accent. So, keep that in mind. Southern accent. Think of where, this is what I think about. Think about where Kaylee was planning on going. Allegedly, what everybody, you know, what's talked about. We don't know for sure. This is all hearsay. And um, where all the, you know, like all the EcoShield guys are at. Um, who, a lot of them happen to be back in town um, on that weekend of the 13th for the big game. For a big game or whatever big thing, they were, big whatever game that they planned on being in town for. But you've got the, this guy with a southern accent. Could he have been casing this place prior? This is this prior to the murders. This is only a month. Uh, let's see. This one was a. Uh, this one was September first. This one. This this noise complaint September first. So, yeah, a little over a month later, this happened to them. So. He's this guy is also the cops are also telling this guy all this crazy stuff like what they, what's going to happen to them. I mean seriously, these cops are acting like they're going to get these kids in trouble and they don't even know who there was is there. We'll just find out their names and we'll tell on them and then they'll take it from there. So they're it's like they're just like they're well they're bullies. That's what they are. They're bullies and. You know the way they're cussing and they're they're acting like you know to this this ride along guy who they don't know, like I said from Adam. Acting like, who cares what happens to these to these students? Who cares? You know they're making noise. Oh, they're getting out of hand. They're making noise. Come on. This is a college town. It's going to happen. And quite frankly, I don't think these guys are much older than than. You know, these college kids, I and mean, not too much anyway. And they act like they're just, I don't know, it's just, it's so disturbing to me to hear these guys. And the more I listen to it, the more disturbed I get about it. It's just not cool. Okay, I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to go again. You can play stupid games if you want to. There's a party somewhere. Yeah, their music got real quiet. Real fast. Yeah. Real fast. Most of the way things fast is the only one that's here. Yep. They said they're going to another party. I wonder if there's another Greek party somewhere. Probably. Because they were, they were taking off all the Yeah, they were going somewhere. But hey, they abandoned it. Yep. So guess what? They're dumping out all. Yep. <laughs> they abandoned property. So now they're on private property and they're dumping alcohol, which is, it's private property. And the thing is, is that there's people that live here that are of age. They don't know who's these, who these drinks are. They don't know who they belong to. Yet they're taking it upon themselves to dump it. And like right before this, you guys, did you see all those purple lights? Like they're, they're in every window all the way around that campus. Like they're really all alerting, alerting everyone that the cops are at 1122. Queen Road, as they call it. Interesting, right? Okay, here we go. I like when they abandon their kids. Yep. Some more in there. Don't want to get the hands of the right youth. Exactly. Aww. Street youth. The white claws? White claws. Nice. They're going to be something recently. I hate when I leave my white claws. Oh, they're cold, too. Man. Yeah, these are cold. Whew. Oh my god. An open one. Hello. Did you see that? Hearing that from a college kid. Yep. Alright, so the Jordan talk to the Yep. Okay. Hi, this is Oscar Walsh Mom's big fan. Maddie, one second we've been rolling up on this. I could swear that he just said Jordan. I'm going to back this up and listen to this carefully because... Hold on, this is weird. 
to do that. Learn that from a college kid. Yep. So he did say Jordan. Um, look at that white car right there. I swear that white car looks a lot like the car, you know, that was back and forth from there. I wonder if uh, Liz was there. <laughs> um, Jordan, hmm. So I'm going to look on the police force and see if there's any Jordans that worked there at the time or if he's like on a call and he is talking about whoever maybe reported the call called in on this or whatever because if that's the case you know else who else called in a 911 call whose name was Jordan well the one that called in the one on Kapaka that's who yep look at that guy standing over there just watching the cops this is a ride along guy it's creepy. Everything's creepy about this, just to tell you the truth. Hi, this is Officer Walker Mark. What are you trying to do? This is Zuku. Daddy, one second. We've been early on this uh, on the stunt. You live at one of the alcohol Queen Road. Okay. So, hey, the reason that we're here is that we do um, live music, party, not a fan of white cars. No one should be a fan of White Claws, it's really And then we sat here and we were talking to the Good on you. I wish I didn't actually. I did want to go to college. So, right now, uh, if I can, I would like to clarify. I remember what it's like to go to college. And I'm guessing, and I went to current address at the also as well, okay? Yeah, I'm going to go it's okay. I, no so, I, I don't assume that's dangerous. Where's your first name, buddy? It's Tuffy. Are you going to say it's us? And how do you spell it, Maddie? Yeah. 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 Loaded weapon right there. Twisted teeth. Go back. Remember that video? The dude smokes that guy. Okay, we're going to look back and see what this guy's tattoos look like. That's what I'm going to do. Hold on one moment. I'm going to put it in slow motion, so I'm going to turn the sound down. So they're talking about a twisted T that's inside this car, which is a, like the, um, like they do the Jack Daniels twisted T. So it's kind of a play on, uh, like Long Island iced teas. So that's what they're talking about that's in this car, which they are pretty gnarly. They're pretty strong. But, but what are they look, I mean, this guy's looking in people's cars, you guys. He's not even the cop. He's a ride along. And guess, and look at where he's standing too. Like when they're all out there dumping the alcohol. He's standing right in between these cars, which is a direct line looking inside the house. Where the guys just came out of, the frat guys, you know, Hunter and Conrad. That's who that is. That's Hunter Johnson, the taller one, and Conrad is the shorter one. Conrad is now on the Sigma Chi uh, Council, by the way. One of the members, you know, the, the big wigs. So, just so you know that he's, he's part of that now. He, he was, uh, as of this, uh, or maybe it was 2023, he was part of it. Maybe it's 2023. I'll have to double check on that. But anyway, it's either then or this year. Either way, he's still, you know, one of the big wigs on there. So, so hold on, let me back this up a little bit. Hmm. Well, he's got quite a lot of tats up and down those arms. I know tats are very, you know, everybody's got them these days. I don't, but, you know, it's not just for your your gangsters and your bikers anymore. It's for everybody.
So that's Hunter Johnson right now that's handing him the alcohol. And Hunter, it was said that Hunter was the one that they called over to the house that morning or that afternoon, whatever you want to call it. I guess it was still morning at that point. And that he was the one that called the 911, called 911. And he was also the one that allegedly took Chester Ethan for a pulse. But he was the one that walked through the house, allegedly. I mean, it's, you know, it's, what do you, there's so many stories, it's hard to even follow what is true and what's not, or if any of it's true. That's the hard part. How do we know? But Hunter was there, and you, he even asked the cops, ask him if he's going to school there, right? And he said that he graduated. So what is what is he doing there? And then later that later um, was it the, was it in twenty twenty three? No, later in twenty twenty two. Wait, let me think here. It might have been actually the next year that they got the awards, but but there was a picture taken with all. A bunch of people had, for Sigma Chi, it had green in it, and there, green was standing in there, and it was a bunch of them. Well, Hunter is off to the very left of the picture, wearing an alumni sweatshirt. What was he doing in a Sigma Chi um, picture with green and everybody else? First of all, he was not Sigma Chi. You heard him at the memorial say that, that Ethan didn't um, pledge or didn't select his his um, fraternity or whatever his chapter so so that made so right there he said that's not he's not in that at that um, fraternity so what is he doing in a picture with all the sigmas I don't get it and why is he there what is he doing here if he's already graduated what's he doing hanging out here it doesn't make any sense It makes me sad when I can find it. Yeah. Oh, oh my shit! <laughs> 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 so I tell you guys are Sigma guys? Uh, I'm a Sigma guy. I'm a, you know, I was in the house, but I'm not. You what? You graduated. You graduated. Yeah. Oh, you I will graduate with a bachelor's. I'm still getting my master's right now. So. But you get a master's right now. All right, Madison. Like, so here's oh, the deal. Cool. Okay. I actually got a kid already started in one program. Here, uh, really? Like, What's his name? The, the occupant. Yeah. That's the first year. He's like, 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 he's <laughs> I see both sides of it. I did it For because sure. I know his personality, uh -huh. and after a while, they would just I, I just okay. uh, yeah. so so I mean, you know, know, guys, guys I, I, I was in a different and kind make of sure that whoever is, is not in it is keeping it down. No. So at this point. Okay, so I have to cut this one. You know, it's already at 34 minutes. And I'm sorry I'm having to do this, but my videos are not loading up like they should be. And...